Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Elden Ring. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here at the Table of Lost Grace after we had explored Lanedale a little bit more. And I guess we're gonna go back over here now. There's still quite a bit more for us to do here. There's two like lower paths I can take that lead somewhere deeper and... I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff going on. I, uh, vaguely remember what needs to happen over here, so... Yeah, we need to go down this way. Wary of Archer, therefore rolling, rolling. Yeah, I didn't actually finish going this way last time. I, uh, stopped going down this path at one point. I think I am just gonna run past you guys. It doesn't seem super worth it to try and fight you. But yeah, 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 there was the dragon here that I could climb on, as well as those pads down there. I don't know if there's actually anything on the dragon. It feels like there would be. The idea of being able to platform on top of a dragon is inherently cool. Anyway. Okay, yeah, it looks like we can get in there. Gravel stone. Yeah, okay, this would drop me down to various places, but I'm thinking where I want to get is right here. What a cool idea. Pla like, platforming on a giant corpse like this. Very, uh, Shadow of the Colossus feeling. Boom. Uh, Rune Arc. Okay, where does this go? So we're at, like, the actual impact site of the dragon. Interesting. Nothing really back that way. Okay, we have a knight up here. Okay, you are actually guarding something. Do you have any allies? Doesn't seem like you do. Hello, friends. Alright, let's uh, swing on you. There we go. Pretty easy peasy. More gravel stone. Lindell Knight Greaves. I think I've already examined the armor for them, so I don't think we need to do that. Saw you last second. Very, very cute. Golden Rune 11. Aha. And now we're over here. There's some stuff going on. Ooh, that's a gargoyle, but also... Okay, there's a lot going on over here. There's also a seed. Uh-huh. Okay, well that's very, very welcome. I want more seeds, for sure. You dropped something? Oh, it's just one of you. So, yeah, Guild Foot Soldier Cap. Boring. Okay, so we got a few things going on over here. Where does the staircase go to? Hi? Oh, okay, just down here. With a bunch of these doofuses. No, you don't. Ooh, what is... Uh-huh. How, how dare you do your shrill noises at me. I don't appreciate that one bit. Yeah, there's a gargoyle hanging out over there. I'm not excited about that. So what does pulling this do? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's a useful. Okay, cool. Glad that we opened that. What's in here? Ah, item. Cane sword. Oh, hey, a character in Octopath Traveler uses a cane sword. Always thought they were super cool. Uh, ED. Yikes. Beloved sword of an aged knight whose last quest was long behind him, repurposed into a walking stick. The tip is rather worn. Though bent of back and without the brawn required to even raise the sword of loft, still he wished to meet his end with weapon in hand. Skill starts with the sword held level, followed up with a normal attack to slash upward through enemy's guard or strong attack to form a running thrust. Yeah, cane swords are cool. I like them. Uh, okay. Can I summon friend here? Or no? Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Yep, you're actually one of these types. Yeah, you're not the ones that just kind of stand there and don't really do much. Owie. At least you're not hitting me super hard. Okay, I really do need to be a little bit careful though. 
Uh-huh. I'm trying not to aggro the other enemies. This is really just a horrible battlefield for fighting you. Uh-huh. Whoop. God, stamina. Go back up. Ow. Okay, see, I just needed to take a nap. That's all that was needed. God, I really wish you would bleed. Make this whole ordeal so much easier. There we go. I'm really glad you guys did an uh, aggro. That made my life a little bit easier. Gargoyles halberd, gargoyles halberd. Gargoyles halberd. Alright. Gargoyles halberd. <laughs> I had to say it to myself so I could remember. Um, where are you at? So, there you are. Yeah, so you look slightly different than the other one. Slightly better, too. You don't scale with faith, that's why. Bronze halberd wielded by valiant gargoyles. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax, a patchwork of champions. Yeah, and that one was uh, specifically the one that, uh, yeah, marked those who serve the black blade. Just one golden seed, really. We got multiple in the other uh, uh, ones that were in here. None of that, please. You stop that. I would appreciate it if you did not. Okay, yeah, now we're over here. Which I don't want to drop down there yet. I want to keep exploring this path up here. There's so much stuff here. I'm totally going to miss things. Uh-huh. Is that an enemy? I think it is. Oh, is this how I get over there? Yeah, this place. Okay. Oh, you look large. Oh, I remember you guys. Yeah, you're not so bad to fight. Uh-huh. You remind me of the Gearm from uh, Dark Souls 2. Owie. Yeah, that comes out a little bit faster than you would expect. What are you doing? Okay, increasing your attack power. Nope. Ow. Okay, that's a follow-up there. Owie. Don't die, please. Okay, get me out of this awful terrain. Here we go. Uh-huh. Owie. Uh, can I stab you in the back? Okay, poison work or er, poison. Bleed works. I mostly just wanted to stop you from swinging. Okay, I think those are the soldiers. Yeah, they are. You doofuses. Wow, okay, not actually loaded in yet. Got ya. Even though they're totally loaded in. Uh-huh. So, I could take that and then use that to get back over there. Let's go see what's over here first. Why don't we? I think it's a pretty good call. So, up here. What do we got? Nothing really going on around me, but there's probably something here at the top of this place. This just looks like another giant building, my god. I have enough giant buildings that I need to get through. Thanks. Ow. Yeah, I don't like you already. Uh-huh. Take the opportunity to heal. Okay, you missed. Is this really a character you can't backstab? Maybe I, I, I might just not be getting close enough to your back. At least you bleed. It makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> Boom. Ritual Shield Talisman. Okay, what does that do? I got like a, what is it, a Ritual Sword Talisman? I think. Uh, yeah, raise attack power when HP is at maximum. Raise a defense when HP is at maximum. I mean, that's useful for like a few hits if you heal up to full every time, but... Eh. Door. You don't have the right. Okay. Got it. Don't have the right. Ooh, that's a boss arena. 
over there. Okay, and there's a few doors to go in right over here. Alright. Hi, guys. How we doing? I know you're not really doing anything to me, but, uh... Yeah. Whatever is the matter, please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, having a bit of a spat, are we? Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. About the noble god gold mask? The <coughs> reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Well, that sucks. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so... Yeah, you're a bit confused because Radigan exists. Okay. Yeah. So, I wonder if we're gonna fight Radigan at any point. Or anything. I don't know. Yep, you're just- you're just sitting here. True, uh, to what, uh, our friend said over there. Smithing Stone 5. What is this? Liar ahead. Okay, yeah, there's a few things to check out right here. Hidden path. Liar. Star fist. Oh. A bleed fist weapon? Now that is interesting. Uh, yep. Causes blood loss. Scales D and E. Well, there's a potential strength weapon. Yeah. Could just rock a big shield and that thing. Spherical iron manifer covered in spikes which induce blood loss. Used in brutal games of pugilism. That would be a funny thing to build with. Just a, just a big spiked thing on my fist. And just punch people. It's like spike gauntlets. Neat. I don't know. I'm pretty attached to my moon veil, but at some point we may respec. Just to keep things interesting. For me. But, I don't know. I'm not bored with this yet. I would maybe even consider respecing if, like, we're fighting an enemy that is specifically weak to bleed. Um... Or something like that. Or just a weapon that's faster so I can inflict bleed faster. Like a fist weapon would probably be about as fast as I could possibly get with that. Uh, gimme. Roll calling finger remedy, yeah. Okay, I think that's it. For this area. Yeah. Okay, but there is a zone we can drop down to over here that specifically has an item like across that bridge looking area that we went to. Yeah, so we do still have that. So let's see if we can figure out how to get over there. There is also that boss door right there. God, there's so much to this area, dude. There's so much to this area. Alright, let's get over here and see if we can just, like, drop down here. Yeah. This is what I want. So can I just drop down here and grab the items? Can't quite tell if that will kill me or not. Um, rainbow stone? Am I out of them? Uh, we might have to make some more. Where are they at? In the crafting list here... There they are. Uh, yeah, just make the max, please. Thank you. Uh, rainbow stones. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's death. 
Big death. Um. Huh. What about that down there? Maybe if I jump from uh, here, we can live. No. Wow, that really doesn't look like it would be that hard of a death. Maybe I should go down there and hit it from by going up that tree. Possibly. Yeah, that might be the better call. Kind of go up the back end of this tree to access that place. Jeez. Okay, because yeah, we went all the way down there. Or I don't suppose it's easier to drop from right here. I forgot we could actually access the spot. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We saw earlier that we could go this way. Yeah, I think this is a safe drop. Yeah, I was doing it from way too high up. Doing it from up there. Okay, yeah, that's safe. I mean, it, it hurts, but I'm alive. And that's what matters. Alright, there we go. We made it down here. So... Is that another... Oh, I thought that was a fog gate, but that's just a tree. You die. I don't even know why poison is a thing over here. Poison is such a non-factor at this point in the game. But even if you did inflict me with it, it wouldn't really be that bad. Okay, I almost just jumped right there. That... Okay, I thought it was death, but no, there's a little spot right there. Land on Smithing Stone 6. Not crazy interesting. Uh, okay. Continue our way up here. So I'm gonna have to fight all these tree guardians right here. There's my pretty uh, rainbow stone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight all of these stupid dorks. Alright. Dorcas. Come here. Oh, you're actually sprouting a Miranda flower. That's different, right? You guys didn't do that before. At least I don't think I've seen any of you do that. Maybe you did in Kaled? Um, were you guys actually aggro? At any point? No, I think you're just sitting here for the most part. I didn't expect you to back up as hard as you did. I'm stuck on the tree. There we go. Jeez. Okay. We did that. There's more of you hanging out over there, but do I really care? Don't know that I do. Yeah, you're specifically like poison tree guardians. Okay, yeah, and this is where we could have walked up over there. Let's go down here. We never went down into this area. Yeah, and there are... A few items hanging out down here as long as a few dogs as long as a few dogs as well as a few dogs all right up here more doggo this is just this is just the pound apparently down here so many puppers golden rune nine yeah i'm definitely going to be able to do a few more level ups when uh i get back to uh, a grace and actually want to you know sit down and Level up and junk. God, this place is so enormous. I am constantly surprised by how big it is. Like, there's another door that I can walk into. And here's the big door that I opened there. Okay, well, I do want to take you out. Mm hmm There you go, good job. You're very, very annoying, friend up there. Uh, yep. Alright. Trying to play this safe so I don't die to the stupid archer. But waiting for you to do that attack is very, very handy. There you go. Alright, cool. Sorted. Alright, you want to stop shooting the bow? I'm going to actually come over here and, uh... Okay. Well, that was just fucking rude. You stupid bastard. Come here. Huh. Aha, you have to come down here to me. 
You are stupid enough to jump down instead of just pull your bow back out. Cool. Give me that gravel stone. Lindell Nighthelm. Ooh, you dropped a rare. What is this? Gravel stone seal. Interesting. A special seal that's probably a rare drop from you guys in particular. Dragon cult incantations. Sacred seal made from gravel stone, thought to be an ancient dragon scale, enhances dragon cult incantations of the royal capital. The worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the Erd tree. After all, the seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. Okay, so you could worship dragons as well as uh, be on the Erd tree crew. They were not uh, mutually exclusive. Look at this big dragon footsie. Big old dragon footsie. And there's a little item hiding back here. Just more gravel stone. Always so boring when I see a purple and it's just a crafting item. <laughs> I mean, they still have their, you know, use and everything. It's just, I don't know. When I, when I see purple, I think, ooh, this is going to be good. And it's like, nope, I'm a crafting item. How do I get up there? Is it from this one? I thought I was taking the correct path there, but I suppose not. Oh, that has to be right. Over there, it's the only one that's open. Apparently I just gotta do better. Let's see what this message actually says. Didn't expect jumping. Okay, so... Yeah, apparently this is a jump. You can make! Yeah, just barely. Ooh, okay. Glad I didn't fall into that. Stone sword key! Cool. Alright, and there's not a way to get through there, I don't see. Yeah, okay. Well, at least we have an idea of where our next boss fight is, I suppose. What's in here? Seems familiar. That it does. Seems intimidating, more like. Here. If this is an area I'm supposed to recognize, I do not. Where is this? Okay, that's just nothing. Try lightning. Okay, that's- it's quiet over there. I think I'm going to avoid that for the time being. <laughs> What's going on over there? People are dying here. From what? I do not know. Alberich- Alberich's pointed hat? Robe, racers, trousers. Okay, let's sit over here in the corner and read this. Uh, pointed hat. There it is. Mad Tongue Alberic's pointed hat, a sign of a heretical practitioner. Set with red glenstones, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices, strengthens thorn sorcery. Alberic was an aloof yet disturbed heretical sorcerer, said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service to the round table hold. Long ago. Um, there we go. Uh, was aloof yet? Okay, so nothing, nothing else really there. So you're, you're specifically a thorn sorcerer, kind of like what was happening to Rogier, because he said he also delves too deep into things he shouldn't have. Uh, item ahead. Yes, indeed, I do see that. More smithing stones that I'm never going to use. Is this an area I came out of at one point? Oh, hello. Well, thank you. I will take that. And we got ourselves another painting. Lightless bird. Like I said, I'll probably look at those at one point, but right now there's no point in speculating where that could possibly be. I'll just go through them at some point, more than likely, and just look and be like, where could that be? Alright. This way? Yeah. God. Oh my god, there's so much area. Gods. I thought the, um, zone in, uh, what is it, Sekiro? The, the like, main town area. I thought that area was big. It doesn't have shit on this. This is ridiculous. This is like, we just want to make an entire, actual, real town that you can explore. Uh, give to a learned cleric. 
Uh, give me a little sort of learned cleric to gain access to Lord's Heal and Lord's Aid. Probably just better versions of each of the healing spells. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh huh. That was it. That was it. Old deer required a head. Don't know what that means. God, there's so, probably so many quest lines and stuff I'm missing in this. There's just so much going on. It really is just a monster mammoth of a game. It's absolutely insane what they've managed to pull off with this. Just the sheer girth of it. Like, I'm still constantly surprised by how much more there is. I thought I was pretty far along, but apparently not. Apparently not. Now I know why people were still talking about playing this game, like, what felt like, you know, month, months, months after it came. Well, it's not been m months yet. It's been like two months, I think. Which isn't the longest time, I suppose. But, you know, people that play games a lot were playing this for several weeks. Which should have been the uh, first hint for me. I Okay, you're actually coming over. You guys ha take us more hits than just the normal guys. I wonder if the Miranda flowers were specifically used as like a way to try and strengthen these guys? It would certainly make sense. Given the context of what we've seen so far. Can't believe my stupid weapon hit the bottom of the tree there. There we go. Yeah, it seems like it's an upgrade to them because they take more hits. Guardian Sword Spear and Guardian Mask. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's look at the spear first. I just hear somebody move. Um, tree spear. There it is. A uh, weapon comprised of a long handle with a broad blade sharpened from the hardwood of old trees. Wielded by guardians of the minor earth trees, known as experts in arts of combat, the power of weapon grace sc scales greatly with dexterity. Ooh, it really does. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I also got the mask. Uh, in accordance with an ancient pact with the earth tree, it is said that their deaths led not to destruction, but instead to renewed eternal life as guardians. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's an item down there check out. I keep hearing noises around me, but I think it's just like branches rustling. Good luck. Uh-huh. Is there a reason to go up here? Doesn't look like it. That doesn't look intended. Let there be death? Help me? Is this a boss fight? Oh, good lord. I have five sips, by the way. I really should have rested at that bonfire. Huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, Mimic Mimicoon, I might let you handle a bit of this. Okay. Nope, you're going on me. Okay, I am doing big damage to you. I'm mostly just intimidated because there's uh I don't have a lot of heals. That's why I'm kind of scared here. Okay. I think we got it, though. You know what? Um. Uh. Okay. Just swing. I was trying to be fancy. Just swing. Were you even the real one? That felt very abrupt, right? No way. That was legit. What? I thought that was like a phantom of Godfrey. Really? That was a legit boss fight. I even got a talisman pouch for it. Okay, I must be overleveled for the zone. <laughs> I must be very, very overleveled for the zone. That was way easier than I was imagining. Even if I hadn't been using my mimic, you were taking big damage from my hits. I think I probably still could have pulled it off. You didn't even have like a phase two or anything. I really would have expected this character that we've been hearing so much about to have a, um, phase two, but, like I said, maybe that was like a fake one? Because you were, you were like a phantom. Maybe you were just a fake one. A talisman pouch, though. Holy shit, that's big. 
Um, so I could increase my maximum HP by an extra 133, which is not a small amount of HP. Like, let's see, Let, let's sip. Now, if we look at this, my, my HP could be massive. Look at this. Boom. An extra 133 HP. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty sizable chunk. My HP could be gargantuan. My god. Um, it would basically always take two sips to fill my HP up. Yeah, that was ridiculously easy. I was not prepared for how easy that was. But like I said, I'm likely super, super overleveled. Um for where we are in the game right now. I think I am gonna start raising decks now. I just don't see a ton of reason to raise endurance anymore. Really. I'm pretty happy with where I am. I would like to get the better version of, uh, um, what's it called? The, uh, the green stamina increasing uh, thingy. I would like to get more of that. Oh shit, do I not have enough? I might not have enough. Uh, yeah, I don't actually think I do. I didn't get that much. I got a bit too overzealous there. Yeah, we need an extra 6,000. I don't think I'm going to be able to swing that with what I've got. I don't know. I have five threes. How much is that? 4,000? Maybe. We needed 97. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Just barely. Coming in clutch. Okay, yeah, I, I think I was a bit too strong for poor Godfrey there, but I still hold that we may have a real boss fight with Godfrey later. Oh my god, one extra damage? That's so disappointing. It makes me just want to like start putting points into strength so I can get a better shield. I don't know, man. Like one... That is incredibly disappointing. I mean, my, my weapon doesn't scale really well with dex, so that's why that's happening. Um, should I just go for big, big shield? Should I just go for big shield at this point? And if I can get my strength high enough, we can uh, kind of switch to a uh, quality build, possibly. Like, let, let's, let's find a shield I want to aim for. Um, where's that one that had stupid... Yeah, this one. 34, it's 17 pounds. It's hands down, like, the best shield that we've gotten so far. For its weight and everything. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would like big shield. Big shield would be very, very useful, I think. So maybe we just start doing that. There's just not a whole lot of reason to be wasting points on that other stuff now. Yeah. I'm not going to be getting any damage out of it, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Let's just do strength. Let's just do strength. If I can get it high enough, we can switch to like a quality build, like I said. And having a bigger shield would mean I can block more effectively, which I do a lot of blocking. But I also might not be able to hold a bigger shield. I don't know. Just everything else feels so pointless. At this point. Like, one extra damage? That's, that's fucking nothing. There's no point in doing that. I think I'd rather just, yeah, let's just start raising strength. If I want to, I can respec at some point. Um, and switch switch my stats around a little bit. Uh, well done, oh well done. Like a dream, just getting started. What? But just getting started, oh my god. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me I'm just getting started. Uh, I need to charge my controller here. I gotta grab my cable from the mess that is my desk. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, um, well, we got some stuff over here to check out, so why don't we go see what this is. I'm happy I finally got my other talisman pouch. I've been waiting on that thing for quite a while. Boom. Holy grease, more holy grease. 
Alright, well that's one boss fight in this area down. And another path for us, it seems. That we could follow. Um, yeah, we can like go over here. And go up this tree, it looks like. Is there anything over here? Okay, you were very lit up, so I thought you were actually a real enemy. But you were not. What about up here? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think I got to Godfrey way too late. Poor Godfrey. Honestly, his attacks weren't even that scary, though. I would venture to say I would probably be more scared of, like, Crucible Knights um, than him. Is this legit how you're supposed to do this? Why is it always detour but try jumping? Okay, wow, this is... This is some FromSoft-ass platforming right here. Huh. There we go. That gets me up here, which... Golden Order Pris Principia. Principia. Principia? Probably Principia. Um... Uh, where are you at? Right there. So... Learned cleric, uh, cleric, Radigan's Rings of Light, and R Law of Regression. Okay, L both of those sound pretty damn awesome. No jumping ahead, therefore first look carefully. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you'll fall down there and die. But I was like, wait, there's a treasure chest over here. I want that. Ladder. Celestial do. Kick ladder. Yeah, there we go. Now we got a shortcut back up here. Should I need it? No trap ahead. Cool. Erd tree bow. I'm still surprised there haven't there hasn't actually been a mimic yet. I've been waiting for it for so long, and it's gonna get me at some point. Longbow featuring Erdtree styling. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. Cool. Uh, nothing really going on over there. Try here. Yeah, I am. God, it's crazy to me that we've been through a pretty significant portion of this area. Why is it always Erd Tree? Okay, is there like nothing out here but a pretty view? I'm thinking that might be all that's out here. Yeah. Unless I can like walk on this to get over... No, that doesn't feel right. Okay, so we have that marked now, but there's still a ton of other shit that we can do around here, right? This feels like a safe drop, yeah. So we went this way. Yeah, this is the path I saw there, weak foe. Okay, so, so people were saying you're weak. Yeah, you must be intentionally weak, right? You have to be intentionally weak. Let's take this down, see where this goes. Yeah. There's almost assuredly some pads I missed, but uh... Yeah. Okay, this is where I killed the gargoyle. And now we're headed over here. Is this something I want to interact with? Try tears? Um, nothing behind. Okay. And if we go down here... Okay, there are characters over here. Hello. Adorable. Now I will totally circumvent that by running all the way around you. I love how they always try to turn around and run. Like that's gonna work. I'm already stabbing you. You can't turn around as I'm in the process of stabbing you and be like, I gotta skedaddle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Already I hate it. Um, hi. Uh-huh. Cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yup. 
Uh-huh. All right, keep coming at me, friend. Whoop. Cute. Yeah, almost. Okay, that was the uh, thing. Yeah, of course that was gonna get me. All right, and you're down. Yeah, I've gotten a kind of used to those guys' move sets. The Crucible Knights are not that bad these days. I've had too much practice getting my ass kicked by them. To die. What are you- Hey. What are you doing? You're- you're gonna die to me! There we go. Barrier of gold. Cool. Greatly increases magic uh, damage negation for self and allies. Cast your nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. This incantation was used by the champions of the Erd Tree in the first and second Luernian Wars, during which the red-haired Radican joined the hero's ranks. Mm-hmm. Offer attacking? What? You mean that? Or are you just- you're probably just talking about the Scarab. Okay. So... That's another path over here taken out. There's... I shouldn't obsess over making sure I go down every single path. I have the ones I remember... I feel like on my way up to the Erd Tree Sanctuary, I missed some things, but I think for the most part, I finished this area off. For the most part. But this this area is like even wilder than Stormvale. This is like Anorlando, if you could actually walk through every single piece of Anorlando. Uh, hello. There's an item sitting up there. I don't think I can drop onto that safely. Maybe I can? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't feel safe, really. Like actually dropping right there, that's where I'm talking about. I, I don't have that many runes, so I'm not super afraid of dying here. Uh, let's try and jump on to this. There we go. And... Oh, I'm too low now. Well, I want to know what that is, but... I also don't want to go too far out of my way to get it. Because I'm kind of lazy. Um, alright. So, let's go back to... The... Wolf. Avenue Balcony? I think. <laughs> oh, gods. Alright. Um, go up here. And then go over here to the right. Correct? Okay, so yeah, that's just that big door I opened. There's a, like, second floor of the castle I don't think I've been on. That I could maybe get to. You know. Because there was that ladder I could have dropped on. Fortified Manor, first floor. And there's the Erd Tree Sanctuary. Yeah. Mm. I think maybe I need to come in there from this end once again. So... Alright, let's just go back to the Avenue Balcony and we'll go to the... Uh, underground portion, I guess? <laughs> No, no, let, let's let's try to bust in this way. This front path here. Let's see what's in here if we go this way. Alright. Of course. No. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is something different. Okay, so yeah, let's get out of this cave. Sorry, keeping everything in order is just a pain on my brain. Alright, so yeah, we're out here. Yeah, I remember this is where the uh, big Miranda plant was guarding, I believe. Okay, well, actually getting up here would have been the easier way to get to this particular spot. So let's just go over here and go from this place. Alright, so where I want to get is like... Over here, yeah? Is that not a way in? Oh, that's not a way in. Okay. Well then... 
Uh, let's go to the fortified manor then. We're I I need to refresh myself on this location. Cause I don't think I explored this. Yeah, we came in here. Okay, yes, yes, yes. We came in here. I found that, and then we turned around. Um, for other things. We never made it to the second floor, though. And this was... Okay, yeah, that path. That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this might lead up to the second floor? Maybe? I don't know. It looks like it leads down. Quite honestly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no. It's not the chariots. I thought it was the chariots. Okay. Stormhawk axe. Uh huh. What else do we got over here? Uh, nascent butterfly. Stormhawk axe. Stormhawk axe. I picked up the stormhawk axe. Uh, no. Owie. Okay, we're good. Just keep running. Just keep running. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be a lot of point in fighting both of you. Okay, I think that was everything over here. I think I can just progress over this way now. Yeah, and I think this is an elevator that takes me to the second floor. Bye-bye. Please don't come on my elevator. Okay, thank you. Phrasing, I guess. Alright, Stormhawk Axe. Bit risky here, but uh... Uh, where was it? Crescent Moon, Great Axe... Stormhawk Axe. Battle Axe designed to resemble a hawk, with its wings comprising the blade. Signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm, despite being so far from their place of birth. Their hearts are proud and thereby easily undone. View the armament's wing blade with lightning and swing it around to create a tempestuous thunder lightning storm. Follow up with an additional input to perform up to two spinning attacks. The lightning will stay on the blade for a while. 19 strength, 15 dex, DD scaling. See, that wouldn't be a horrible uh, quality build weapon there. It does depend on how fast it swings, though. Eh, not crazy fast. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not awful. It would be a possibility if I was going to go something like that. Of course, I've also, I also think I've mentioned uh, the possibility of using like um, a pike if I was going to go a build like that. Where's the pike at? Um, pike, pike, pike. Pike, pike, pike. Yeah, short spear, the naginata, the crystal spear. That one causes madness buildup. That's the, yeah, the B strength scaling, great sword and spear. The tree spears, faith, so many faith ones in this. The iron spear, the partisan, there it is, the pike. Yes. Does less damage than like the partisan, for example, but has longer range. It, um, also scales better with uh, strength. So, yeah, I mean, this would be something I would potentially be interested in using. Not the most exciting weapon, but uh, the range and everything makes it nice. Also, the ability to do this is very, very nice. I don't know. It's a possibility instead of Moonveil. Moonveil is doing nuts damage, but um, I don't know. We kind of already have a quality build going here with Moonveil because we have Dex and Int, but the only problem with doing Dex and Int is I'm not using the intelligence for anything. The intelligence is just sitting there basically making my weapon hit harder. But I'm actually using the spells, which makes me more interested in going like a quality build route because then I would at least get something out of the strength because uh, I could use the strength to carry around a bigger shield. I don't know, it's just something worth thinking about. And... Yeah, I mean, part of uh, not using intelligence is my fault because I haven't really given it a good chance, but for the longest time I couldn't even carry a staff around on my person. And at this point I just feel like all my magic would be weak. Just hit you a whole bunch. 
So, okay. There's a giant here, and we're really high up. Are we about to reach uh, the mountaintop of the giants? Maybe. Owie. Okay, that's the attack where you back up and keep slamming down. Uh-huh. Ow, he still hit me with that. I really thought I was going to make it under there. Uh, is this the attack? Yeah, that one. I'll make sure we don't get hit by that. Boom. Don't even know how I missed. There we go. You're down, big guy. Come here and let me get that juicy, juicy heart. There we are. Give me your stuff. Golems, Halbert. Oh. Is that what you guys are called? Golems. I thought you were just the uh, stone giants. There it is. Great Halbert of Blackstone, crafted by a civilization now gone to ruin. Wielded by the Guardian Golem. I suppose that would be another interesting weapon. Uh, the Whirly Gig Saw hanging out right here. It's D&D &D scaling, and it causes blood loss buildup. Unfortunately, it weighs 19. Like, look at this absurd thing. Like, yeah, of course it causes 70 bleed uh, buildup. It, it is enormous. Alright, let's hit this. What you got for me? The Blessed Dew Talisman. Blessed Dew. Uh, let's see, where are you at? I scrolled right past you. Uh, there you are. Slowly restores HP. Okay, that with the Icon Shield might not be bad, because that's the Regenerator's Ring and Adjudicator Shield combo that uh, I talked about when I used the Icon Shield. Unfortunately, my HP bar is stupid massive, so it probably wouldn't be very useful for me. But, uh... Definitely something worth considering. Uh, especially if you're the type that just wants to run through entire areas in one go. I don't know how I get to the other floor of that building. Uh... What? It's tightly blocked shut. Um, okay. Well, uh... Huh. So, how in the hell did I get up there again? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll put that here. Hmm. Let's put, like, special... So let's put a banner, and then we'll put a banner on top of this. So I know how to get there. Hopefully, hopefully I remember. You know what, maybe I should just add it to my notes. Alright, we're good. I've added that marker. Um, apparently I came here way earlier than I was uh, supposed to. Yeah, I still don't know how to get to the second floor of that manor. I think I just want to go explore the sewers now, though. Maybe. Or I could uh, go back to uh, the table and maybe upgrade, like, the pike or the partisan. And see uh, if it's something that I would want to use. I'm just interested to see if it does even remotely as much damage as Moonvale does, because... I don't know, I'm not using the bleed from Moonvale that much. So I feel like I would rather have my ability to uh, hold my shield up and pokey poke back. I mean, that one's a pretty hilarious option as well. I don't usually like great swords, but um, if I did this... <laughs> I could start raising my strength too, and then my weapon would scale with dex, strength, and intelligence. Which would be pretty crazy. And it causes frost buildup, which... I mean, I don't know how effective I would be at actually inflicting frost, but... I don't know. It could be a cool weapon to use. But, I mean, I can upgrade multiple things. I have the money now. Weapons are kind of becoming less and less I mean levels are kind of becoming less and less important now um yeah how about we uh upgrade a oh yeah I don't have smithing stones that's right how about we upgrade a pike and then um 
you know, maybe like uh, the uh, Dark Moon Greatsword or whatever. Because if I did that, then I would at least get more out of actually putting points into strength. Because Moonveil isn't really giving me much right now. Um, yeah, buy eight of those. I don't have a lot of runes to work with, but... I don't know, I'm kind of getting bored of Moonveil. It's good, and I would always have it to fall back on if I needed. But, um, when you've been playing this game for like, I don't know, how, what are we at? Like 80 hours or some shit now? Um, you, you usually want to switch things up a little bit. Uh, alright, so... Can't wield you. Could wield you in the future. Um... Let's, uh, do the pike, like I mentioned. Uh, pike is down here? Yeah, there's the pike. It looks like it does less damage than the partisan, though. So, I might, I might sacrifice some of the range to just use the partisan instead, because it's just better. Yeah, let's do the partisan. Boom. Uh, yeah. Cool. God, you need so many smithing stone ones to upgrade that garbage. Yeah, you can already see, though, that scaling is pretty inferior compared to uh, Moonveil here. That B intelligence scaling is just too strong. Way too strong. An extra 184 damage off of that. Yeah, maybe we will have a hard time finding something as good as that. Let's upgrade you. Yeah. Uh, I can keep upgrading you. And yeah. I mean, you're getting pretty damn close to Moonvale. Look at that. Huh. Okay. One second here. Doesn't swing as fast as Moonvale, obviously, but uh. You know. So. I have some runes hanging out in here. Alright. Oh god, not many. Yeah. Sorry, this is probably just a waste of time, but I want to sate my curiosity here. Uh, that's not going to be enough for, like, anything. I think it might get one more level up on you. I don't know. I kind of want to experiment with things, and Frost sounds like it could be an interesting experiment. And that's it. So, 165, 66, uh, 197 plus 172. Uh, Moonvale is currently 213 plus 184, but that's with it being plus 10. Or, or wait, no, it's not plus 10 yet. Uh, because I don't have a somber ancient dragon's smithing stone. But, yeah, so this is already almost caught up to that in terms of physical damage that's added on. Because it scales with, you know... Ah, but it's the B dex and B int that's specifically such a big deal for... Yeah, once that dex scaling gets up to B... I don't know, man. Maybe it would be worth putting more points into dexterity? I don't know. I just wasted some runes probably and shit, but uh... Whatever. Let's look at my levels actually. Mind, Endurance, Strength, Dexterity. Uh... I kind of wasted putting that point into Strength because now I'm kind of regretting that. Let's not worry about it too much. It's not that big a deal. Let's just go do some more stuff. This is something I can think of when I'm uh, not actually playing. I can sit around and, you know, craft builds and things. Just that one extra damage I got for Dex from that entire level up was super disappointing, but that might have also just been because it was um, C scaling. Once uh, the Dexterity actually gets to B, um, you know, I would get enormous amounts of damage out of Moonveil by leveling up Dex some more. Alright, so... Did I finish exploring that area last time? I did. Yeah, no, no, no. That's that place. Okay. Yeah, I think for the most part I finished exploring that area last time. Let's let's go underground to the sewers. Why don't we? We can just do that. But yeah, I think Moonvale, um, depending on how many things I get to upgrade something to plus 10... Uh, Moonvale's probably a really, really good candidate for that. Um, just because it seems quite strong. 
But, and plus then I would always have a really, really good weapon that I could fall back on because I have like a billion larval tiers. I can, I can switch build as many times as I please. The only problem is the limiting factor would be a uh, plus 10 upgrade items. Because I don't know how many ancient dragon stones you get in this game, but it's something to keep in mind. I really wish I had the better version of the Viridian uh, Amber Medallion. Alright, let's get down here and see what we got. Oh wait, does this just link over here? Hello. I saw you like a second too late. So, this is different than the sewers that I went to that one time. We're just back in this zone. Yeah, that sewer area I specifically went to is probably what Dung Eater was talking about. And I thought this was also linking to that, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. This is just the slums that I talked about last time. Okay, I'm not killing all of you. Just trying to clear the area out. Yeah, this is the area we've already been to. Yeah, I cleared this zone out, I think. Actually, might not have done this. I don't recall doing this. I also don't recall falling down there. Okay, yeah, this is new, I think. I never did come over here. No item ahead. Is there anything over here? Like, enemy-wise? That's mostly what I was talking about. Another one? My god, there's so many of you. Okay, you're very, very cute. I can't even summon a friend to help. God, how annoying. Alright, I'm gonna move back here to heal. If that's cool with you, ulcerated tree spirit. Uh-huh. Yeah, you keep doing your bullshit. Uh-huh. Take some time to get some big two hand swings in here. Uh-huh. You were such a weird boss fight to fight, like, early. Because I just could not follow what the hell you were doing most of the time. Uh, that was bad. So you specifically entered the new phase that that first one I fought does. No you don't. Not getting me with the grab. Uh huh. You slow down please. Uh huh. Nope. You're spamming the grab. Please quit that. Okay. This was a good opportunity to get some attacks in and I missed it. Uh huh. God, he's so annoying. Oh, that's the grab. God, will you stay still? These things are the worst. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's heal. Be safe. Pick up the item. Nope. God, your... Your hitbox is just... You're just a mess. Visually to fight against, you're, you're just a mess. And you have to fight them because they drop the golden seeds usually, so. I, I hate them. I really do. Uh, offer faith. No, I'm good. Okay, so is this another path to get down to the sewers, possibly? There's so many damn items in this game, man. Uh, and you're chilling up there. So before I drop down there, there is this path. Um, yeah. Cracked pot. Alright, friend. While you're sitting on the job, I'm gonna get some free hits in here. It's incredibly hard to bleed, you guys. Owie. That was my bad. There we go. Bye bye. Okay, here we are. Yep. Alright, this is where I wanted to end up. Fall, please. Boom. Dead. Yeah, at this point, it might just be that Moonveil's too strong to stop using. Even if I do want to switch up my build. Because even if I switch to the uh, Dark Moon Greatsword and it did pretty good damage, Moonveil just swings so fast. 
Hello. Don't mind me, just gonna go in here and hit this. It really is just such a fast weapon. I don't know if I could get anything that is as fast. Deathbed dress. Uh? Extremely thin and sheer white dress worn by the deathbed companion as she embraces the dead. Slowly replenishes the HP of nearby allies, but not that of the wearer. The touch of the fabric is exceedingly soft so as not to harm even the most withered corpse while still sharing her warmth. Is this Godwin? Lionel's helm, Lionel's armor, Lionel's gauntlets, Lionel's greaves. That's that set I saw that one person wearing. So you were laying with a deathbed. Is, is Fia the only one? I don't remember. Because if she's not, that has interesting lore implications. <laughs> uh, helmet. Helmet, helmet, helmet. Where was your dumb, doofy helmet? Your budget Katarina helm. Round iron helm with a distinctive large brim, worn by Lionel the Lionhearted. When the chivalrous, dauntless knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home, he declared himself to be her father. Uh, why were her clothes on your bed then? Eh? I don't like that. Maybe you kept some of her clothes to remember her by, and... I hope that's what happened. I mean, it would be weird otherwise to find Fia's clothes here, but not her body. Also, she's supposed to be, you know, making babies. With, uh... Godwin. Okay, yeah, so maybe you just have some of her clothing that you kept, and you're, you're very sad and died sitting here because you lost your adopted daughter. Uh-huh. Howie. Okay. Well. Dead. Big damage. Those guys don't have a lot of HP, so they're not very problematic. Don't think there's anything else back here. Although you did drop something. Omen smirk mask, eh? Alright, that sounds kind of interesting. Uh, where are you at? Uh, there you are. Mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the omen killers increases strength. Bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that daunt the, uh, haunt the omen in their nightmares. How much does it raise it? I wonder. So... Let's see, I'm at 26 endurance right now. If I put that on, it raises my strength by two and lowers my endurance by two. Okay. So that would put me at 17 strength. I mean, that's not an awful helmet. Any helmet that gives you stat increases like that is pretty damn good. And I don't need that extra bit of endurance. It would be useful if I specifically had my eyes on like a shield that required like 18 strength or something. Is there an 18 strength requirement shield that I want to use? 14, 16, uh, 21, 20, 22. Yeah, all of them require like, you know, 20s and stuff. That, that shield would be absurd to use. It's incredibly stupid ugly, but God, look at that guard boost. That guard boost is ridiculous. I kind of find the idea of using this hilarious too. The ant skull plate. Like, look at that thing. 63 guard boosts. Yeah. I don't know. I do find myself longing for a bigger shield. Uh, how are my heels looking? Yeah, I did just sit, so... I think for the most part we're good. I think that's on the other side of the wall and that's going to infuriate me. Hello. Oh yeah, you respawned. Bye-bye. Now you despawned again. Cool, look at it. Look, we finally made it to the depths, everyone, from Dark Souls 1. We're finally here. What do you drop? A rune? Oh yeah, they do drop rune arcs, don't they? They do indeed. Golden rune 8. Alrighty, righty, righty. What is this that I saw forever ago? 
Guilty Hood. Don't we have one of those? I swear I've picked up something similar. Four. All around the garb of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the color of shirt. Yeah, I've totally read that before. Hmm. Maybe the other one was a slight variation on it. Just a wee bit of variation. You're using like a trident kind of weapon. It is it is always neat seeing all the phantoms running around in wild and crazy armor as you're going about your adventure. Stop that. No. Okay. I see you. Very, very dead. You guys can just drop down, actually. Oh, okay, or that. Okay, I was about to say, will you come down already? I was trying to save my shit, but, uh... They wanted to hang out up there longer than they should. Hello. Alright. Annoying. I'm not getting tricked by you and taking free damage. It's not happening. Okay, that's a big one. It's a... That's a... That's a mommy. Owie. You don't do a lot of damage, though. Nope, that's a grab. And now you're dead. All Sashes of War, Somber Smithing Stone. Yeah, some, uh... Be wary of misfortune? What are you talking about? Weirdo. What did this one say? Liar head, yeah. Okay, so... Continue on our merry way down this path. This might be a separate part of the uh, um, sewers than that one area I went to. There was another area that led down to the sewers, but it was uh, obviously different from this one. Rats and giant hands. What an early game RPG area. Very early RPG area, this one. And that thing sounds like it's through this wall. Their sound effects carry so much. Oh, hey, you guys. Weird. I haven't seen any of you in a while. All right, over here. Oh, hi. What an unfortunate spot for you to be. Time for revenge. Hidden path ahead, there's not. This message is a dummy. No! Poor. No, I didn't mean to rate it good. <laughs> Damn it. I was mashing buttons. That was my fault. Band daggers. Bird steel dagger. We've already gotten one of those. Holy proof dried liver. Okay, wait. Is this that path I tried to take down that one time and turned around? Because I was like, no, this doesn't look anything like that path. This leads somewhere else. This game is too damn big, okay? I'll go ahead and say it. There is such a thing as too big. And this game definitely feels it at times. Okay, more stuff over here. Thought I saw an item. Yeah, there it is. Somber smithing stone. God. I have so many of those, but I am like woefully low on uh uh what's it called um the regular smithing stones i guess i can buy those though but i can buy the somber ones too you just get so many more of those i feel the economy for those is a bit weird okay there's what i want uh no no. There we go. Okay, yeah, you try to do that to me. No. Okay, Ash of War Thunderbolt is what I just picked up. So. Ash of War. Lightning Slash Thunderbolt. 
Uh, skill used by the capital's ancient dragon cult. Raise armament aloft to call down a bolt of lightning. Can be fired in rapid succession. So I think stand five. Oh boy. All right. I think that's it for this zone. I can kind of finagle my way over there, but uh, nothing really to get out of it. I don't believe. Hello. Bye bye. Pickled turtleneck. Okay, where the hell am I? Over here. Okay, I remember this place. All right, all right so we've made it out of there. Um, okay, I mean, I guess the other path then is to go over here. Oh my god. Like I said, giant, giant area. If I, like, actually wanted to scrape this place fully, I feel like this LP would be going on for 200 parts, even with hour and a half long episodes. The game is just that big, man. Uh, hi. No. You put your weird horn away. Uh, hi guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the sewers if you don't mind. There we are. Yeah, so we came down here last time and I think I turned around. Hmm, maybe this isn't what I was thinking it was. Yeah, yeah, no, this is just back over here. The grace is right there. Shit. I mean, at least I'm seeing how everything matches together now, but... Huh, where... Because... The Dung Eater said that, um... There was a very specific, like, under the, uh, capital sewer area that I needed to go to to... Find his body? Hmm. This place is just such a mess. It's hard to find anything in here. My god. Um... I don't know, I mean, I feel like it's something I could come back to later. Uh, I have 23,000 runes now. Uh, let's just, let's just go over to the table of Lost Grace. Maybe I'll... I don't know, upgrade another weapon or something. I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little, uh... little tired this episode now, just... Going through that took a lot out of me. It really did. So I, I think I'm probably just going to upgrade some stuff. Maybe do some, like, build crafting or something. And then we'll end it off. I can at least upgrade you some more. And I don't know. I'm, I'm interested. Let's say that. Let's say I'm interested. Boom. And boom. Okay, so it is just as upgraded as uh, Moonvale now. Scales, um, a little bit worse, for sure. Is there like a way to compare my two current weapons? I don't think there is. Um, definitely the intelligence scaling is actually better by quite a bit. So it actually has a higher int scaling. The uh, problem with this though is that Moonvale has a pretty high intelligence scaling, but will also soon have a B dex scaling. But if I got my strength up a little bit, you would be a possibility. But it's uh, it's almost like to effectively use this weapon, you would need to put points into strength and dex and int, which is a big ask. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it seems like Moonvale is probably the better of those two. I am still interested in this, though, and it does have, a uh, better, um, base damage. Yeah. I don't remember how quickly it swings. I also just look really cool, um, holding it, I'm going to be honest. Let's just take it to somewhere random, yeah, sure, the Church of Dragon Communion, and swing it around a little bit. I've, s I've used it a little bit before, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I mean, it's not- it's not fast. 
Don't get me wrong, it's not fast. These attacks aren't slow. Like the swipes here, like you could do one of those and that attacks pretty quick. Um, Moonveil definitely faster though. And if it ends up doing more damage at the end of the day, why would you not just carry the faster, smaller sword? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, maybe I'm not regretting my uh, choices as much as I thought. I could upgrade to the um, brass shield by getting uh, 16 strength. Then at least that extra point I put in the strength wouldn't be wasted. And, um... If only this was better, the carrion night shield. I mean, it's very good for magic resistance, but... Uh... Yeah. I don't know, we can fix our build at any time. God, I should just look up where this is. Right? Maybe that's something to do with the rest of this episode. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, Altus Plateau. Uh, where is it? Um, Outer Wall Battleground. Where is that at? Here. So, south of the Outer Wall Battleground. This is interesting. I'm actually really happy I looked this up, possibly. So if we go south from here... Uh... Yeah. So there's a road that I believe we need to walk down. There you are. How did I manage to walk past you? I don't know. But, uh, apparently this is where we get that item I want. I'm really not enthused about being stuck in that hole. Hey, Margit. It's been a minute, friend. I don't know why you appeared first as, like, a little, you know, like, peasant enemy, basically, but, uh... Uh-huh. You're taking big damage, though, friend. You have passing skill. There you go. None of that. Whoop. Okay. Nope. Get out of there. Nope. I I asked you to put your shield back on. Thank you. There we go. I can't believe I almost died to you. There. You're dead. Alright. Yeah. How did I miss you? Viridian Amber Medallion plus one. Huh. Yeah. Why did this random person turn into you. I don't know. Can you take over people's bodies? Is that something established in your lore? I mean, this is the site of where you stormed the capital or whatever, right? I think we... Because it, it was said that the fell omen attacked. So, there's my Viridian Amber Medallion plus one. It gives me... Wow, an extra two stamina. You fucking shouldn't have. Okay, well that's not terribly exciting, but uh, getting to fight Margit again was kind of neat. How did I miss you? Was I just riding through this area so fast that I went right past you? Okay, yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy I looked that up. That was kind of interesting. Okay, well I think with that we're probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off because I am a sleepy, sleepy tarnished. So I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for some more.